ladies and gentlemen, it's getting hot on them power streets. People want to know who holding <laughs> guns, who F you gonna sleep with next. Um, is Professor Meager going to team back up with Professor Jabari Plagiarism Kelly? Who shot JR? Oh, the wrong show. <laughs> it's all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to lead in with this, Larry. Mm. Would Monet, could Monet, would she on any instance shoot her son, Kane? Uh, yes, I think she would. What? <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, you, I think that think I she think if, two streams? I second that. Yep. Damn. I okay. don't think she would shoot him for anything frivolous, but I think that I think that if it came down to it where she felt like she needed to protect herself or one of her other kids, maybe protect the business outright, I think she would pop him. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, okay. she, she already said that. Kane was reckless and too far gone. Mm -hmm. So if he's too far gone, then she he's beyond even her redemption. And because he's a loose cannon, I think if opportunity, you know, I don't think that she would search out and just smoke him, but he put his hands on her again, you know, married and took a couple of falls, you know. <laughs> and she, you know, she... <laughs> <laughs> she finds herself, find herself on the floor again. You know, Kane might have one planted, double tap to the chest or something. That, that. Yeah, she might. She might go down and and reach for that and reach for that piece while she's falling to the floor. So okay. So you know. now this this question is for you, T Streams. Now that we don't see the breakup, we think of Brayden and Tariq. Is there? And we've seen. Kane kidnapped Braden, throw Braden on the street, and Braden showed Kane just how tough he was. Do you think there's a chance we could see to um Braden and Kane teaming up against Tariq? No. What? No. I don't no. I don't think so. Tariq still has a trump card to play. And you know you already know he's he's good with words. And he, he's good with manipulating certain situations. He has a trump card and all he has to do is be like, Braden, man, I was trying to protect you. Your girl, the feds, her uncle is the feds. Okay. Okay. And I think once I think once that is when I think once that is exposed, it'll it'll change the whole trajectory. And it may not even be that to change it, but but I don't think. I, I really I can't see that uh, Brayden teaming up with Kane and uh, with with Kane against uh, Tariq. I, I don't I don't think so. Larry, what you think? No, I don't think that I don't think he'll team up with Kane because both of them are dumb. Both of them are dumb and hotheads, and it would just be it would just be a, a hot mess. Neither one of them could run a business. Wait, Larry, that's yeah. not saying a lot. He's teaming up with Little Glock. <laughs> None of them can run. Neither one of them can run a business. That, that, I, I mean, to, to say he won't team up with Kane because they're dumb, that's not saying a lot. You no, I'm not saying that. he wouldn't try, but I don't think the writers would put them together because it's just putting two dummies together. I mean, or it's two hotheads. I don't want to say Brayden is dumb. He's right. just a hothead. And Kane, Kane, I don't know. I don't know if Kane is dumb or if he's just can't get out of his own way. It's it, it's hard to tell, but. I think that I think Braden is just right now. I think he's just a little butt hurt in, in his feelings because of uh, Riley, and I think he'll get over that. But I think really what's going to happen is is that he's going to. Uh, I think he's really going to want to sell sell because we know he wants to sell coke. I think that I think uh, Tariq's going to going to say, okay, yeah, let's do it, let's get in it because he's going to need more money. He's going to have to start paying for. He's got to start paying a uh, two bit. And he's gonna have to pay for his attorneys and all. I think he's gonna start dealing coke up on campus, and and then Braden's gonna be like, "All right, cool, let's do it." You so know. So you think you think Tariq will let Braden hook up with this chick right here and be the coke connection on school campus? Nah, he's he's Braden's never getting with Effie. No man, not hook up as in sex. I mean, Tariq have Braden running the coke through Effie. Effie's the supplier. I think, well, I think what's going to happen is, is that I don't think that's going to happen. I think what, what's going to happen is, is Tariq is already 
he's already sort of laid out the game plan what he's gonna do with Effie. He's getting that he got Effie to, to trust him, and so now he's gonna go ahead and find out who her connect is, and she he's gonna bypass her and just go straight to her connect. That look on her face, God, I know. I was sitting here thinking to myself, that's how they hug in church. <laughs> when, the, when the pastor be trying to get a little too touchy feely, that be the look on the girl face in church. Like, man, bro, the Lord looking at us. What the hell you think you're doing? So, man, oh, man. Words. Man, she was not feeling that at all. And so then that brings me back to this right here. What is Monet going to do when she finds out that Zeke got Professor Carey pregnant. I said Professor Carey. I didn't say nothing else. I give it to you first, T-Streams. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> that, would be, that would be a bomb. But, I, you know, uh, he's, he's sort of soft. I think she can easily – I think she can easily put him in check because – he respect her and she, you know, she throw that. What are you doing? You know, she, she, she put, you know, she put that, that look on. Yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, man. She, she put that on him. He probably, he probably tightened all the way down. What are you doing? You're trying to lose your career. You get caught with this and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But here's the problem. Um, Larry, I pose this to you. If he does get Professor Carey pregnant, it's not Monet he's got to worry about. It's this Negro right here he's going to uh, have to worry about. Right. Yeah, I think eventually there's going to, it's something's going to come to head with, with Jabari and, and either, either of Zeke or Tariq. I don't think it's going to be Zeke because i think he's going to keep going after after uh tariq thinking it's tariq and by the time he realizes it's zeke i think it's going to be too late somebody's already going to have handled uh jabari but i you know to be honest with you if he knocks up professor uh, lock and key i'm okay with that i think that would be i think as far as as chicks that he could knock up and the way he was banging out that cheerleader and and the way people were talking about him getting it in it's probably only was only a matter of time before he knocked up somebody anyway, so he might as well get it with a with a real woman, you know. That's right. She is a real woman, a professor, yeah. an educator, might not as well a sex with educator. I mean, uh, right. I mean, in all seriousness, if you're gonna get with if you're gonna get with someone, I mean, she's probably in in all seriousness, she's probably not that much older than him. She's you know, because he's probably in his what his mid twenties, like 23, 22, 23. What is he supposed to be a senior? He's about to go to the league. Yeah, he's probably a senior, so we'll say he's 23. We'll give him 23. All right. And so she's probably 30. No, she's probably know? like 33. But you know, You're okay. So yeah, yeah. she's a little bit. I mean, personally, I mean, I if I, I would want someone like her, someone a little bit older, mature, that's in my that's in my corner, especially if I'm about to go to the league. Cause then you know you can't get you can't pull stuff over. I mean, not that he's gonna be able to get anything pulled over his eyes with someone like Monet in his corner, because Monet might just run up in somebody's office with pistol whipping people and you know telling now, David Stern he's gonna give him a better deal. Now that may happen because she didn't start she didn't start researching who his who who his peoples are, mm -hmm. and Monet is ballsy enough. To maybe bypass him and go straight to her, be like, "Look here, this my nephew. Stay away from him." Mm -hmm. Yep, Monet will do that now because Monet is the ultimate cop blocker on this show. She be trying to cop block and be late every single time. Last question I pose to you fellas before we get out of here on power. Ultimately, that brother in the background, how is he going to die? Webster, one in the end. Come on, man. What, what, what? T streams you first. How is Everett no. gonna die? We didn't already see him run away like a little girl when he saw that Drew really is the man in the relationship. How is he gonna die? Man, honestly, he 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 can he can go in any way as far as I'm concerned. Oh, uh, he could actually by he running away and fall in front of a bus, but. Uh, <laughs> No. Man. Oh my God. <laughs> so 
is I don't think I don't think it's I don't think it'll be Kane. Okay. Uh, I think I think his death is going to be one of those at the wrong place at the wrong time type of thing because it's it's apparent that Drew still like him, even mm-hmm. though his other, his other hand has been exposed. Kane already aware, the mama already aware. Everybody, everybody, everybody around him is aware except his daddy, and his daddy can't do nothing. So if they was if they was to get rid of him, wait a minute, T Stream. That daddy is aware because the daddy is it too. But I'll just throw that out there that that daddy is fully aware. Because I mean, in y'all private sessions at home, do y'all ever get caught sitting like that? And I'm gonna just leave it at that. But go ahead, T Streams. Nah, bro, I don't sit like that, homeboy. But that's, uh... <laughs> that, that's probably why. I mean, that's probably why that cop. That's probably why that cop can sleep with Monet and, and Tejada doesn't really care because he's like, you know, that, that, he's his best, that, that's, his, that's his beard. He didn't really uh, care because that's his beard. He, Boy. Say, I, I will say this, though. Man. He, 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 must, he, he must pull some heavy weight because he got some, some Pablo Escobar type stuff going on in his jail cell. Golly. Man, yeah, I, I, honestly, I don't think they're killing Drew though. I mean, not Drew. I don't think they're killing. Uh, what's Drew's boyfriend's name? That dude, Everett. 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 I don't think they're killing Everett because I think that they still need to give Drew some a, a love interest of some sort. And Drew's, I mean, it, it works out nicely for Drew because dude is in the closet, and and now that Drew looks like he's probably going to end up having to take over. The business, I don't think they're gonna want everybody in the streets knowing that he's gay. You know, like because what's gonna happen is when people say, "Well, Lil Guap called you an f word," and they're gonna be like, "Well, you saw what happened to Lil Guap." Lil, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, and mm-hmm. and but I can understand why dude is it would run and be scared on some level. I mean, he did run like a little bi, but I understand why he would be a little scared of Drew now because if if they came after Zeke and dude put a gun to Zeke's knee and was threatening to blow out his whole career like that. Dude's mm-hmm. up there in the same boat. He's like, I'm trying to go mm-hmm. to the league. I don't want somebody come running up on me because of you. You know, right. I'm trying to go to the league. I don't want that. I don't want to be in that situation. You know, mm-hmm. but so I don't think I don't think they're killing Everett. They may be. It's you know, it might be one of those sort of on again, off again things where he's trying to get him back, and you know that I, I yeah, I don't know. More yeah. often, yeah. Go ahead, yeah, I said I, more I, than, more off than on. Preferably. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna refer to this character as Little Guap no more from now on because he's such a clown and who's everybody's favorite clown show the WWE. From now on, I'm calling him Little Uso because he looked just like one of them damn Uso brothers. From now on, until he showed me something better. But ladies and gentlemen. That's all we got for y'all for tonight. Um, good show, fellas. If any of these guys decide to show up Christmas Eve, I mean Christmas night, I will be here. But, you know, fellas need time to spend with their families. So 